We're going to talk about Proposition A. It's not just about marijuana, but it is arguably what propelled the sweeping proposed charter amendment onto San Antonio's May 6th ballot. Also known as the San Antonio Justice Charter, Prop A would prohibit San Antonio police from arresting or even citing people for most cases of pot possession under four ounces. But San Antonio wouldn't be the test case in this instant. Garrett Berger tells us voters in six other Texas cities have approved, have approved similar measures, all with varying results. In a growing college town, it's not much of a surprise. Over 80% of San Marcos voters chose to decriminalize pot in November. We cannot arrest for a, what's considered a class B or class A misdemeanor amount of possession of marijuana. That's the crux of ballot initiatives voters in six Texas cities passed overwhelmingly last year. Austin was first in May. Though its police had already announced they would stop doing most low-level pot arrests back in the summer of 2020. There has been no marijuana enforcement of Class A or Class B marijuana possession in the city of Austin for now close to three years. Ground Game Texas was involved in Austin's campaign, plus the five other cities in November, and now San Antonio's. Big picture, the question of enforceability is as much a political question as it is a legal question. Elgin City Manager says they've delayed implementing their ordinance as they wait for a state attorney general opinion. Harker Heights City Council simply repealed what voters passed, though the issue is back on the May ballot. In Denton, there have been some tense meetings on what can or can't be done. I do not direct the police chief. He gets his oath from the state of Texas. I could tell him to break the law but that is not what I will do as a professional. Colleen's police chief says his officers have largely been letting people caught with the drug go. And the arrests were generally because there were other issues. They had warrants, they had a gun on them, they had other drugs on them. Back in San Marcos, the police chief has tried to thread the needle between the ordinance and state law by issuing a memo instead of a policy. Memo says it has the same result. It is everybody's belief that we absolutely do follow this ordinance. San Antonio City Attorney has already said the city would not enforce much of Prop A were it to pass, including the pot decriminalization. The initiative's supporters think he's out of line. And so what we hope is that the voters resoundingly approve Proposition A, the Justice Charter. The City Council hears that message and the City Council tells staff go do it. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.